Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe, and today we're talking about AP. AP, for those who don't know, stands for analysis paralysis, and is generally the concept of the terminology used for when a game, gamer is sitting there overly focusing on what move to, make, to take next, what optimal strategy to partake in, how to best optimize and maximize their turn, and that process of the analysis leads to the paralysis of not actually doing anything. Uh, AP is uh, just a fancy terminology for that guy who takes longer than everyone else on their turn. Now AP is, depending on your group, either a slight annoyance or a real problem. Depending on the person, depending on the group, it could be anywhere in between. It can be a slight annoyance if you're just referring to that one guy who happens to take a little longer than everyone else, but not significant, nothing crazy. On the other hand, especially if that person is taking significantly longer than other players, it can really be a downer to your game night and it can really kill the mood and the enjoyment. When your turns are, you know, one, two, three, four, and that other guy's sitting there, you know, taking three, four minutes per turn when everyone else is getting their turn done in a minute, that person is effectively taking twice, to three times as long as every other player, drastically elongating the length of the game and making the entire experience more painful. A game that could be two hours can easily drag to three or four with one or more AP players at the helm, and it can also kill the mood. This is not just a, if everyone at the table is fine, if everyone at the table is socializing, having fun, not even noticing, who cares? If you're all having fun, it's all good. But if some of you are frustrated and you're conveying that frustration to this other player, it can it can add tension to the room. It can really ruin a, a game night when you're you're saying, you know, Max, Max, come on, come on, Max, we're waiting on you. Max, it's your turn again. Max, come on, go on. It can really not just elongate the game, but can add tension to a game night and possibly a game group. So this video is about how to deal with AP, or at least the tips that work best for me and my group, and if you have any tips yourself, I'd love to see them down in the comments down below. It is a problem that is commonly experienced by a lot of people, and anyone's tips are, well, helpful to that end. Um, I'm choosing to hold Glass Row just because Uwe Rosenberg games or any games in that nature tend to be particularly AP prone. Generally, when you're trying to min-max the victory points, it really does lead to that perfect optimization engine that you're trying to accomplish. I also put up Food Chain Magnet behind me for major bonus points, this is definitely a game you do not want to play with AP prone players. So to begin with, let's start with the don'ts of this video. Let's start with the things that will not help, that will only make the problem worse, despite being kind of instinctive and natural to pursuing. So to begin with, don't rib them about it. Whoever they are at the table, don't simply just, you know, rib them like, oh, you know, whose turn it is, I, I guess it must be Max's turn, you know, it must be Max's turn. Or, you know, hey guys, it's taking a long time, it's like, hey, you know. Max's turn. Like, don't don't yawn. Don't rib them. Don't don't give them a hard time about what's going on. If you've ever been under pressure about anything, having a whole bunch of people at a table obviously upset with you, having a whole bunch of people at the table obviously giving you a hard time, doesn't make that thinking process clearer. An AP player is generally one of two things. Either it's someone who cares too much about winning, which can be a problem in of itself. In my experience, the, the AP players at the table aren't so much people who care so much about winning, but rather there's a, it's not that they, they walk away from the table thinking, oh, I have to win or whatnot, but rather there's a, there's a degree of, of completion, of, of, of a process that's done well. It's not about whether you win or lose, it's about, well, I need to figure out. Like, speaking for myself, I couldn't care less whether I win or lose. I still try to take an ideal move when I can because there's something rewarding about chaining things together in a way that works well. Oh, someone else won? Great, I was here to have fun, but I still want to have an ideal turn. I still want to get a good process in. And so AP players, when you're when you're ribbing them about that, when you're saying, hey, dude, dude, come on, we don't care if you win, it doesn't make them move faster. It still takes that process of, I need to make the pieces fit together, and it just makes more stress on the on the picture. It just takes it, makes it significantly harder than it had to be, and starts killing the mood right then and there. So don't be, don't rib them about them. Don't be snide and sarcastic. Don't, I mean, same category, just don't be snide and sarcastic. Don't look at your watch. Don't, just generally treat people the way you want to be treated, and that includes AP players. None of this stuff will help you. None of this stuff will make you feel better. None of this stuff will make them feel better. It will simply make the problem worse, and kill the mood. So those are all absolute no-nos. Do not be snide, do not rib them, do not be sarcastic, don't look at your watch, don't treat them in a way that is taking a problem and demeaning them because of it. 
as far as what to do. So to start with, be polite and straight with them. Understand, and this is not doing the game, doing the game, it's honestly doing the game, it's a kind of a lost cause at that point. You, it's a very hard to do this properly during the game. You can try, but it's hard. But once you know who the AP player is, before the game, pull them aside and be max, hey, like, listen, I know that we've talked about in the past, like sometimes the turns are a little longer than we'd want. You gotta try to keep it faster you it's just it's it's harder for everyone else when everyone else is sitting here you know taking a minute per turn and you're taking three minutes per turn i know it i know it's frustrating i know it's hard but you have to at a certain point set a mental clock for yourself or something like that set a set a clock and just at a certain point just take the move regardless of whether it's good or not consider it your own optimization that you have to get your move in within a minute or you lose it to a certain extent uh, it, it's it's fascinating by the way if you play a timer based game with an ap prone player they're still constrained to the timer just like everyone else so set a certain kind of timer in their head of of what to do but if you're polite and straight if you explain the problem it's not a ribbing thing it's not a personal thing it's a hey listen you know it takes you longer and that's fine it's just but we're trying to play a game and it's harder to, it's not fair to other players when you're taking up two or three times the game time of everyone else we can either play one game with you or two games without you and that's just not fair so just be very polite, very direct, very straight, and try to do everything you can to convey that this is not personal. This is practical. Thank God we're all busy adults, or hopefully we're all busy adults, but you know, we're all, we're all busy, we all have other obligations, we all have other things we want to do, or maybe we don't, maybe we just want to play more games. But time is ultimately valuable, and it is totally okay to convey that politely and cleanly to your other players, to these fellow players, without in any way disrespecting them or making it personal. It doesn't have to be personal, it just has to be practical. So that's one. Two, and this kind of leads into what I talked about in the timer there, Use a turn timer. Pull out your phone, download a turn timer app. There's several with your iPhone, Android. There's a whole bunch of different apps that will do this. Enter the player's names and start using a turn timer. And then at the end of the game, you can easily show it, or even during the game, you can have this, you can show the other players, well, look, you know, Max, you took two or three times the time of everyone else. The problem with AP prone players is they're trying to be efficient, they're trying to maximize, and when you add the timer there, even if there's no actual clock, even if it's just a measure of how long everyone was, it sets this external variable in play that's something else they're trying to beat. It doesn't mean they will be faster or as fast as possible, but it does mean that they'll, they will they tend to be better. Like I've noticed in my groups, when we use a turn time with AP prone, AP prone players, it definitely has an effect on the, on the gap. The gap without the timer might be two times or three times as much. With the timer, the gap will shrink to, you know, it'll also be over, but not by anywhere near as much. And it's also easy to, to argue against, but then the nice part of using a turn timer is I find AP, AP prone players are often defensive as well. You're like, oh yeah, you give me a hard time when it's my turn, but when, when Jack was taking his turn, you just let him sit around for four minutes. Yes, Jack had a four minute turn. You had every turn was a four minute turn. And the turn timer helps show that. The turn timer helps show, no, there's a real gap here. This is not just in our heads. This is not personal. This is not anything. There's a real gap here. So use a turn timer. You don't even have to say much. You just have to have it in play. It's not a practical suggestion for every game, especially games with a lot of simultaneous decision making, but it really can help with this problem, with showing the problem and with closing that gap. Tip number three, restrict the player from AP prone games. This is one that I find particularly, first of all, it's practical, and second of all, it's effective. So like, let's take Glass Road, let's take Food Chain Magnet. There are some amazing AP prone games that I have been very clear and politely clear with these AP players that I will not play those games with them as long as they have this gap. As long as they're taking longer than other players, as long as they can't move quicker in their decisions, regardless of the consequence of a less efficient turn, I will not play these incredible games with them. I, I make it very clear that, oh, you know, oh yeah, you know, Food Chain Magnet, it's amazing. It's, or Coinbra, Coinbra is so good. I love the, the action selection and the, the way you have to pick those dice and trigger with, I, I, I'll talk about it very specifically in front of them when we're like closing up a game and I'll be like, oh yeah, you remember when we played Coinbra? I'll bring it up, you know, naturally when it comes up and then reference the fact that oh sorry like sorry you know max i i really like I, I mean i if you can get faster i'd love to play with you unfortunately we're like this is a game that's already it makes me slow it makes you know everyone else slow i i can't play with you while you're like this if you're direct and again practical and not personal it's very practical so i mean speaking of which it is practical i really won't this is not just a strategy i will not play food chain magnet with an ap prone player i just won't 
Second of all is I can then use that, that fact, that practical fact, to help guide that player to the idea that there's a consequence to him as well. This is not just a consequence to us and our time, but there's a consequence to the fact that you are not invited to a game night with a heavy, super thinky game as long as you are taking much longer than other players on your turns. And it's just a, it's a practical and, and it helps guide them in the consequences of their, not, not, the, not the consequences of their action. Again, it's, it's, they, they, they're processing longer than other players, but the fact that there is a natural consequence to the fact that their turns are longer. Finally, and this is a little tongue in cheek, but I find it's really actually true, make sure they lose. I don't have another way to say it. Make sure they lose the game. Do everything you can, everything in your power to make sure that AP prone players do not win. Uh, again, it's a little funny, little tongue in cheek, and it's despite the fact that I'm saying this, it's still not personal. It's still practical, but there is nothing when it, when an AP prone player sits there and takes longer than everyone else and then wins. There is a certain cause and effect, a certain correlation of well, I sat there and I thought out my turns, and therefore I won. If you can take that away from them, and I don't, I'm not usually this vindictive, but if you can take that away from them, if you can sit there and say, oh, you know, look, you don't even win that often then, I mean, again, don't say it in a negative way, but when you're being polite, when you're talking very practically to Max, and you're like, you're like Max, I get it, it takes a long time. At a certain point, you have to go. I mean, like, listen, it's not like it's affecting your win rate. It's like you're you're winning 20% of the time, which is totally reasonable. You should be winning 25, 30% of the time, and you're winning 20% of the time. You're doing fine, but you're not, it's not like this is crushing anything, so just take a little less efficient turn. It, you have to take away the incentive that they're actually getting something by, by, taking these longer turns. Their turns should be, if their turns are gonna be longer, make sure they lose. Do everything you can to help them lose. So really, once again, let's just quick cover that, cover that again. Don't be snide, don't be personal, be very polite and nice about it. Be polite and firm with them. Use a turn timer, it really helps show the gap. Try to show them that they can't play AP prone games. Be again, polite, clear, practical, and then try to make sure they lose. It's, this is not vindictive, it really isn't. Uh, but ultimately, that, those are my tips on how I choose to deal with the AP players in our group. Uh, if you have any tips yourself, if you have any AP players, anything you've done, I'd love to see it in the comments down below. Let me know what works for you, let me know what hasn't worked for you, and I mean, at the end of the day, something I haven't really talked about in this video yet, but. At the end of the day, sometimes you can just uninvite someone from your game group. If someone's really a buzzkill to multiple people's enjoyment, there's nothing wrong with saying that this is not a good fit. Uh, again, polite, practical, to the point, and preferably with a you know if if you can if you can be that straight and direct with people, preferably with an exit path, being like, hey Max, you know over if it doesn't improve, you may be invited less. We'll still keep you on like you know the the list here and there, but you might be invited invited less if your turns continue to take longer. It's nothing personal. We love having you. You're a great guy, but it really affects our ability to play games. Polite, practical, and to the point is the way to handle AP. Do not make it personal. Just make it about the practical nature of it. Anyway, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. If you like this video, you can like the video down below. You can subscribe for more content. You can watch another video over here. If you like our channel, if you like our content, we don't have a Patreon, we don't do any of that. Just go to boardgameco.com, buy a few games, trade with us. If you like our content, that's really the best way to support this video. Past that, I love hearing what other types of videos you want, what type of content you want, which of our videos you're enjoying, which of our videos are not so enjoying. But just basically feedback, conversation, it's all the best way to go for. Other than that, have a good one, and until next time.